How to create Kubernetes or OpenShift namespace project with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about Ansible module K8. S. The full name is kubernetes.core.k8s, which means that is part of a collection of module of Ansible to interact with Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift cluster. It manages Kubernetes k8s object. Please note that before was noted as uh, community.kubernetes, this collection, but now they remain renamed. Parameter. There is a long list of parameters for the K8S module. Let me summarize the most used. Most of the parameters are very generic and allow you to combine for many use cases. The name and namespace specify the object name and or the object namespace. They are useful to create, delete or discover an object without providing a full resource definition. The API underscore version parameter specify the Kubernetes API version. Default is v1 for version 1. The kind parameter specify the object model. The state, like for other model, determines if an object should be created, present option, patched, patched option, or deleted, absent option. The definition parameter will be the most useful because allow you to provide a valid YAML definition, string, list or dictionary for an object when creating or updated. If you prefer to specify a file for the YAML definition, the src parameter provides a path to a file containing a valid YAML definition of an object or object to be created or updated. You could also specify a YAML definition template with a template parameter and you might find useful also the validate parameter in order to define how to validate the resource definition against the Kubernetes schema. Please note that require the Kubernetes-validate Python module. Are you ready to have fun? Demo time! I will show you how to create a Kubernetes namespace project with Ansible playbook and OpenShift as well. Welcome to my editor. Let's start our playbook with Freedash as a YAML document definition, then with the name of our play, for example, k8s demo, that is going to be executed against hosts localhost. Yes, I want to run in the local machine. So gather under for facts will be set to false because I don't need to uh, have all the machine information in this case. There is a special definition connection local if we are going to use our Ansible playbook on localhost. Let me define one variable that is a project underscore name and let me set it up to my app. You can customize as you wish. Uh, on the task list only one named create and let me use the variable name so the value of project underscore name here we go and namespace. So at the runtime we are going to see the name of the namespace. So module kubernetes.core.k8s 
zampagamente uh, API underscore version v1 kind will be namespace namespace here we go and the name of the object will be the value of variable project underscore name state present of course as you can see in a few line of ansible playbook i'm able to connect to my kubernetes or openshift cluster and create an object or verify that is present the authentication is done behind the scene using the usual .cube directory and file so but if you want to specify this there are username password and host variable as well and don't forget uh, to validate the certificate if it's self-signed but now let's move it on welcome to my terminal let me spin up my code ready openshift uh, cluster with crc status as you see is a 4.9 openshift uh, executing on my local machine with crc start uh, i'm receiving the administrator and user parameters so let me copy this eval expression to set it up all the openshift uh, environment okay now i'm able to log in with a username of cube admin so we'll have all the right to create any object on this cluster and uh, the api url of course the execution as you see is super fast and now i'm connected at this time i'm able to run my ansible playbook as usual ansible dash playbook I don't need the inventory because it's run on localhost so kubernetes namespace yml is my name and okay wow change the status super fast which means that the namespace was successfully created and as you can see it show up also the name of my app what happened if we run twice hidden potency so it's check it out and we got okay status which means that the object exists and no further action are needed. Wow, good job, Ansible. Let me double check that the project is really created with OC projects and let me do the pipe grab my app to double check if the namespace exists yes it exists great let me remove the grab so i have a full list of the available project and namespace and wow here we go done so the, what's true you can verify also the project in the web ui so i will show you how i was just copy and paste the url in my browser as a username let me specify cube admin and the password that i received from uh, crc start and uh, no i don't want to save thank you uh, in a blink of an eye he will log in to the kubernetes in my case uh, openshift uh, code ready container and under the project list i'm able to see that my app was created three minutes ago so wow good job uh, ansible and this is super useful to automate your kubernetes uh, management now you know how to create kubernetes or openshift namespace project with ansible thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up write me a comment or keep me in contact with me of course, subscribe to channel and see us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot. And have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.